start! Hello and welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. It's been a very long time since I uploaded a video, let alone one of these. Got the second stage up and up now, six years into the Let's Play. And I'm the king of slacking off. Who else has gone six years? You know, this is where we left off, except I might have missed one thing, maybe. We'll go get it now. So I replayed the game up to this point because I've gone through X number of computers and Y number of emulator versions. I don't remember if I got this in part four, but these are like little teleporters. They're like little things of acid. They dissolve Banjo and then clone him in another cauldron. I'll collect some eggs here because I think there's something behind the cauldron. Yeah, see, the camera wouldn't let you see it otherwise. <clears throat> so yeah, this is MDev, uh, not Geico Caveman whatever anymore. I was given like one chance to change my name back when Google Plus was incorporating itself in YouTube. And this one's uh, this one was something that someone else used to call me and not, you know, it wasn't a self-made name. It's Bad, Mad Dog Eddie Vicious. I guess it didn't really stick, but I like the acronym. Let's see if I remember where level 2 is. I think, I think that's it down there? Yeah, I remember now. So when I first started this Let's Play, I was just so stoked because I got my new computer. It was All it was was an e-machine, but it was great to me at the time. I was only 17 and I just relied on my dad, so... Now I built my own computer and I could just upgrade it over time. Oh yeah, I forgot how the music changes with how close to a certain level you are. Is there anything useful up here now? I know there is after I hit the witch switch inside the level. But for now, it might just be Red Feathers and Death, Biker Gang Moggies here. I don't remember what they're called. Yeah, Red Feathers, just a bunch of Red Feathers. They're informing me of their use right now. If you haven't watched parts 1 through 4, feel free to skip them. You're not missing much, it's just one level, plus the tutorial thing. Mouse cursor on the screen for at least one of the videos. God. Alright, enough screwing around. Let's jump into a bottomless chest. Actually, what it even is the first level that starts to have a bottomless pit? I think they're rare in the Banjo world, especially this first game. I might be wrong. Okay, I was just about to do something stupid and try to mess with the graphic settings, try to make the puzzle piece thing work. Yeah, tell me more about my note score bottles. I bet you'll need triple digits. Nice of them to provide you with a lot of red feathers before you learn to use them. If I recall correctly, when you learn to egg move, they give you 50 eggs. Bottles give you 50 eggs to start out with, so this is pretty much pointless. There in the background is Nippler, Nipper, whatever his name is. Giant crab with what looks like googly eyes. Let's go talk to him, shall we? Hey, big guy. I don't need your help. <laughs> Shellhead, because he always got the best insults. Forget the eggs. All you have to do is jump and peck this guy whenever he's not clawing at you. Oh, oh I missed my chance. I'm gonna wait till the next one. Right now. Die. Oh, now he goes up slightly faster. I'm sure, just two more hits will. We'll be able to go inside. Ooh. Thought I was gonna start clawing again. A pinching. Oh, another crab! I don't need any health, but thanks anyway. Alright, next one. No, no! Alright, now. Alright, got him. Alright, let's go see what's inside this shell. So I definitely had to abandon Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I used to play on a 360, but I no longer have a 360. But I do have all of the uh, all three Modern Warfare uh, games on the PC. So what I'll do, oh, oh my. So what I'll do is uh, if I ever pick up Call of Duty again, I'll start. I'll actually start with uh, the first Modern Warfare game, Call of Duty 4. Jiggy. All right, we got the first Jiggy of the world. And I think that's it. Let's get out of here. All right, we've beaten off Kermit the guy and raided his home. Shahome. I wanted to say shell and home at the same time, but it didn't come out all right. My mic quality's had its up and ups and downs. Uh, I actually used to have a Blue Yeti Pro, a studio mic. Uh, I've used it in some of my Killing Floor videos. 
And it's just, but I had to sell it, so it's all just been downhill from there. The Blue Yeti Pro was actually very quiet, but it had very good uh, uh, voice quality. I also used to have a snowball, but I thought it picked up too much noise, while the Blue Yeti picked up not enough. I don't know what that's about. I think the next best thing I've had was the Turtle Beach X11, actually. I think I think that was used for the Xbox 360 and also the PC. It was one of those, you know, Turtle Beach, Call of Duty type headphones with the Palm Beach as the uh, icon or whatever. And, uh... Well, the X11, it was it was a much older model. It used to actually have its own... It, has, it used to have uh, one cord for USB, which provides its power, and then one headphone jack, and then one microphone jack. They don't seem to do that anymore. They just seem to use USB for power and mic, or sometimes all of it. And the reason why that's not... Uh, well, that's not ideal is because... Oh, hello. Gold pieces. Oh, there's a huge stack of gold not ideal because you get a lot of white noise they're not really made for pc gaming i guess um basically what i used to do with the x11s is i used to actually plug the usb into a little wall adapter for i like, use for like phones and stuff and then plug the other ones into the pc that would eliminate the white noise altogether but i don't even have that headset anymore i think it probably broke it i don't know i also had some px22s recently that broke that was a shame it actually the whole earpiece snapped off of it i'm not sure how Here's your damn gold blubber guts. You better be paying your taxes. You half... Oh, well, oh here, other half's in here. Nowadays, they sacrifice a few things, namely mic quality, just so you can have awesome things like surround sound or, or having a wireless headset. Now I have this Razer Kraken Chroma. Oh, my Razer product. It actually helps a lot with my Counter-Strike It's because it's got the surround sound. Really... Helps a lot with positioning enemies. Come on, get the skull! Ah! Uh, Alright. Oh, come on! There we go. You can bulk them. Get these notes and get out of here before I drown. No, no, no. Alright. Let's see if I can steer this thing. Where's the hole at? The hole is in this corner. Wait, no, that's, that's not where the hole is. The hole's up top. What am I, what am I thinking? Alright. No! Gosh, I'm failing so hard here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, here you go, boy. Now what are you going to do? You can't get this ship sailing, can you? Alright. Trade gold for gold, I guess. Yeah, go spend it all. Don't spend it on anything stupid like a jet ski store. Uh, oh, my, he is, isn't he? All right. If I can get up the slope, go to the top of this ship. Nope, I missed one. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see, what's my note count? 32. All right. Is that how many jigs total I have? All right, we got to get some more notes. Here's some on the side here, luckily. We'll get those before talking to bottles. If the death perception doesn't screw me over. Oh, that was that was my fault. Oh, got it. Oh. All right, Jinjo up here is good. Oh, I missed the first one. I know exactly where it's at though. It's at the very beginning. There's a big shark guarding it though. All right, only the second level, and we have flying available to us, so that's good. At last. Ball guys, did, he, did she call him? Oh, 25 red feathers. They gave me 50 eggs to start out with, I think. All right, let's take off. Let's fly. Press A to fly higher. It'll cost you one red feather, but we don't need it right now. I'm pretty sure there's a jiggy inside of this treasure chest with teeth here. And, uh, nope, nope, no! Fuck! All right, here I am at the damn chest again. I'll time it a little better this time. All right, now. Yeah, score. Third jiggy of the level. And of course, Contilla's gonna be mad at me for taking their jiggy. Oh, was it now? Gosh. Oh, shut the fuck up. No, come on! I don't wanna die trying to get out of this chest. No! So, I'm gonna have to switch to uh, post commentary here for just a minute because while I was recording this, uh, as soon as I fell in the water, I just had the biggest coughing fit, and it was it was it was kind of funny at the time. But uh, 
really the commentary is ma basically just overwhelmed by coughing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of edit it together to where you don't have to watch me fall over and over again. You can just watch like where I fell there and then next point is where I jump back up and fail again. See, I get hit by the shark. Next thing you hear will be live commentary. Finally, uh, jiggy number four. I have one health left, both in banjo and in real life. Okay, off screen time. All right, here I am back at the takeoff pad. Gonna get, wait. Actually, did I already get this jiggy? Oh, you know what? I think I, oh, my, what's up with my memory? Damn it. All right. All right, let's go back up to the ship. Let's see. There's a little alcove over there, but uh, I, got, I can't get to it from here, so I gotta take off once again. Oh, that was a, what a waste of time. All right. Oh, no. I don't want to lose the life here. All right. Uh, I can make it. I can make it. No. Fuck. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, I'll collect everything that I've collected up to this point. And then we will resume. Well, thank you very much for watching. See you in part six.